All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Arena Aldana. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda the Lioness New. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? All right, so round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against kind of a striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Hey, 
Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Landed a big kick there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big kick land. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Good jab. Nunes gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Real sneaky fight. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice uppercut by the champion. Another shot lands upstairs. Big punch in the clinch. Three minutes. Powerful leg kick lands. Beautiful kick. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, she put everything into that leg kick. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is causing her opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. Punch over the top. <laughs> Nunes' head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. There's no tell on that leg kick. The first striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Under two minutes to go. <laughs> Ooh, what a punch! Well, she connects with the right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. It won't take many of those. Just unable to quite find that range. Another clinch position. And there comes the separation now. Lands the right hand. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nunes going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Under a minute now to go in round one. Good stick. Nice head kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. Big power shot there. Just unable to quite find that range. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. That is a thudding leg kick. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. You ready? 
You ready? All right, round two. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Liver kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh! Oh, straight right! Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. What a punch. And they second. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey. feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, yeah, she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be finding its target. Hands up. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round and her Oh, she got hurt. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! That's how you finish your fight. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Fantastic fight by both of these women. High level striking, great cardio, great fight. Wow, huge head kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Ooh, what a punch. Another beautiful takedown. Oh, it's a nice takedown there from Amanda Nunes, DC. Every time she fights, she puts her status as the greatest of all time on the line and certainly looking good with the wrestling here early on. Yeah, she's looking good with her secondary skill, right? Amanda Nunes is known for her striking now. Before, she was a grappler, a grappler at heart. So now she's relying on her secondary skill, wrestling, and controlling this fight. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Left punch is true. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Liver kick. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, nice high kick. Nunez gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. She missed with that jab. Goes to the body with the knee. And she misses with the left punch there. It's a good right hand right there. Big kick lands. Wow. Yeah, she's gotta get back on the body. She hurt a little bit with that shot. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Fifteen seconds. Effective strike there by Nunes. Try to establish that jab. 
And that's the end of round number two. So a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous rounds. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, big punch land. Oh, she blocks the punch. Yeah. Nunes gets touched by that kick there. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Swing and a miss with that punch by Nunes. Oh, big left. Right. Oh, and she lands another punch there. And now at this point, you can see she is going out of her way to target that cut near her opponent's eye. As she should be. She needs to be taking advantage of the work that she has put in. When a person has beat up legs, you continue to beat the legs. So when you get them cut, you continue to attack that cut. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours or not? It's way better than <laughs> mine. She's so fast and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Game of inches right I'm there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that's a hell of a kick fire there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. <laughs> nice loop of punch. is this fighter down the stretch. She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, nice punch with the left hand by her there. Her timing is impeccable. Oh, huge right hand! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, straight right. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Swing and a big miss by Nunes. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, she didn't telegraph that one at all. Spinning back fist. Nice leg kick lands. Good punch lands. Nunez gets tagged by the head kick there. Not sure how many more of those she can absorb if she wants to stay in this fight. There's no give on that leg Both kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Kick to the body by Nunes.
great punch landed with so much power. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice body kick right up the open. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking. And she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. Nice kick. All right, there's a wow! She heard the bell. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time to see where the endurance, the cardio... Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, straight right! Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. One, two punch by Nunes. How about that chin? Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. <laughs> Nunez's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Throws the right hand there. Oh, and she connects there, beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she gonna use to follow it up? Right on the button. Visibly limping here. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Whoa! Wow! That was nasty! If you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long, and I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop to this contest. At one minute, 26 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Newton. The Bantamweight Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt.